requested. So I'm going to start off with a circle. And then I'm going to draw a line like this. Then sometimes I'll do like a little shoulder. And then I'll go down. The hips are like another oval. And if you're not very uncomfortable of how to draw like women's <clears throat> boobies. <laughs> okay, I can't believe I just said that. Um But you always wanna like um work with that shape that um you've created. And what I mean by is you really want to work with that shape. Also stay with the strokes. I'm making this like one big shape and then I go in and I make the details on that shape. Not too many details but enough details that I can work with if I was animating or if I was drawing. And I'm doing this as a stream because it takes eternity to have this um, up. And then I'm drawing out the lines of um, the arm. And I'm putting them in this direction as a bend. And I call it a bending direction. Bending technique. Because if you're holding on to your shoulders, you always want to make sure you want to see how the shape of where your arms are when doing so and you don't want to like put them like so far out to the point where it looks bizarre you want to make sure that they're even right now they're they don't look so even but this is a tutorial so sometimes you also want to stay connected if you don't like uh, the short hair you can just like connect and then flow down don't don't do this don't go up and do that just do it like this I know because I had experience and it just um it just makes it feel weak because you want to make it feel like the hair is actually flowing down and you also want to have gravity in mind when drawing so the hair shouldn't be all over the place like up here or down here well it should be down here because that, that's how this hair is it's down here and that's because gravity pulls down so you always want to keep that in mind that gravity has everything pulling down and that these little lines they're swiftly coming down because they're just little pieces of hair Sometimes you can also do like a little tiny ovals like this, but also try to use your arm strength to draw with your arm. Also, to avoid to avoid carpal tunnel or so. I you know, I used to draw with my wrist, and um, I still do, but I don't use it as much. I mostly use my little upper arm strength to do these legs so before I draw the next leg um, it's good to draw it as an oval and then another oval but not too big but to the point where it looks human like you always want to stay with the human proportions because that's what we're all trying to do we're trying to stay with the human perfor proportions proportions So she looks like she's like some sort of uh, hero. I'm just going to censor some things. Okay, this looks like a very, this looks good, but um, not inked. Okay, so what I'm doing is also I'm refining and what does refining mean is like adding finishes and touches like readjusting um, the lines in the um, drawing itself and I'm just doing like little strokes to get that done so sometimes add a little bit of shading add a little hair piece to make it more interesting you always want to have appeal when drawing these characters so we're in also still refining um, you can also erase some things like uh, delete this, 
that little joint there and then make it into this little line that represents that it's a joint or it's three dimensional but you're having gloves so these are gloves just doing this little thing just showing you how you would um like uh what do they say you would um edit things that's another way of saying it like you would take out all of the sketches and like if you really wanted to work with your like sketch you would do it like this and you would refine like so so let's try to keep this uh tutorial to like 16 minutes like the last one you can also like uh, use the S key to go to previous to your previous ones like so if I clicked it this and my thing was this I can click S and it will go straight to back to that eraser and if I click it again I'll go back to um, the pencil and that's why I'm doing things very quickly because I learned that technique a long time ago I am still thinking about making another animation but that stuff takes so much time and I wish people could actually stop making um just being ridiculous when it comes to uh these gaming people these people that work in the industry because I was actually watching something and like people get mad about the next game coming out and it looks like crap but you have no idea what they be doing over there I only feel just only a little bit of what they be doing over there, so that's why I keep my mouth shut. People who have mostly experience with these type of things would just keep their mouths shut. But the people who don't have that type of experience of making games and such, they will just clap their jaws. <laughs> no offense. So what I'm doing is I am a little bit refining, and as you can see, we are adding much more detail I'm doing I'm also doing heavier strokes if you want to and you don't like the way the eyes look you can change them up no need to be a fear of erasing things because if you don't like something just erase it I learned that and it really helped out a lot when it comes to um, doing things like so she's really a bad example because um, she doesn't look like uh, the other drawings I usually do so what, what I'm doing is I'm actually refining this and you just refine and refine that's what I was trying to say um, refine edit edit stuff take out um, things if you want if you want to do this that is but if you don't um, it, this takes up time and um, I just felt like it was really important to let you know that you can refine things if you don't like uh, the regular sketch and you want to like refine it to the point where it looks absolutely um, more unique like you can uh, erase to the to everything like looks not as um, iffy or sketchy and just keep on refining keep on redoing um, little portions here and there Yeah, this is not one of my best sketches, but um, I think it works pretty well. I think this will do. Okay. So that's how you would actually refine, but I'm not going to say that because everyone has their own ways of refining. You can erase and just redo things to the point where it looks good. And you always want to make sure to look at it um, when you do it. You always want to make sure to check your work. I 
I actually have a superhero that's in her just a uh, swimsuit or little sexy little outfit. Yes, anime for you. So another thing out of refining is um this is not all refining because I just told you how to refine. When it comes to drawing legs, you don't want to just do the ovals. Let me just tell you that. And this also is for arms as well. So let's draw a leg. Just an example. Now you can see how I did this um, leg here. Well, let me tell you why it looks like a leg, an actual leg. Um, because if you you guys are probably going to do it like this, this, and this, you don't want to do that. You don't you don't want to do that. Trust me. Um, so trying to make the ovals a bit more thinner. I mean, this is what I used to do before what I'm about to show you now. I used to do it like this. The joint, um, also the lower leg, thigh, circle for the joint of the knee. And it looks too static. It just looks too static, you guys. So let's fix that. Okay. Um, I can't delete this. I can't delete all of this at once. So let me just select that and gone. Be gone, you. To the depths of hell. Anyways. Um. So let's get back to drawing a leg. But instead of drawing a leg, let's draw the waist and you can do this for practice if you want um the best thing I would say when you're watching a YouTube here's a tip when watching people on YouTube you want to always like try to copy what they're doing but just for practice not to say that you don't can't do it I mean you can pop you can definitely do it what you can't do is, is say to hey I drew this and it's mine when people absolutely probably have seen it more than you and they're like no it's not that's uh, drawing with jazzes or that's um, Psychra's work you just managed to just trace over it or trace it it's always better to draw from your head but to use the pieces that these people use and here I am explaining things and messing up on my other tutorial Okay, so I did all of this like unnecessariness. Um, let's see, Let me just go there. I think I like it also when you like do digital drawing tutorials on um, the internet because if you don't have like the best lighting, like me for example, you can always do it in this, and also you don't have to worry about using up your pens or your materials. And since I don't have like that good camera space like I see people using, um, yeah, just I just can't do it because I don't have the type of stuff. So let's focus on the legs. Um, you always want to like draw out from from the shape of where it's supposed to, of where the shades are supposed to come from. Don't ever do it like this. Like start from here and do like that no you're gonna get lost when it comes to other mini poses and it might be easy from what I just did but you always want to start from what you just drew and work like this same thing with the head same thing with same thing with like the head tutorial but now you're drawing out the limbs you're drawing out the limbs from out of that drawing and I'm mad that some people don't really explain that when they're drawing they don't explain that you should do it like this just draw it out like that. It makes things a lot more easier and it makes life a lot more easier for those who view your work. Um, I also noticed that drawing with Jezza does not do that, but I've watched how people draw and they always drew out of out of the drawing. Like so like so what like like uh you can do this also with a plant or a flower. Just I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Drawing out drawing out with the ground. And draw on the line out of that ground. It's like making a plant grow out of the ground when it comes to drawing like this. And then you just work on that. 
I'm not sure what type of flower this is, but it, it will do. I'm not really good when it comes to naming flowers, so if I said that this is a dandelion, I would be definitely cor incorrect. It's more like a, I don't know. See, I told you I'm not good with uh, flowers, naming flowers. I can draw my own little made up flowers, and that's what I usually do. And look at that. Look at that, mate. Okay, so back to here. So now let's erase her arms. And let's do the same thing with the arms. These little tips should help you guys out a lot when it comes to drawing. So that way you'll know um, you don't want to do it like so. So let's let's pretend she has a shield in this arm and the sword in this arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like a little path showing me how the arm is supposed to look. Then I'm going to draw it like this. And you're probably going to need reference when it comes to drawing uh, shields. I'm not really good at drawing this type of stuff because I don't try to. And I should try more because I really want to make action-packed animations. And the best thing to do when like learning that is to um, draw from reference. Now I know that definitely when people have like shields, their hands is like connected to that shield. And like I said, I drew this out of that arm. So I went like, drew the arm and did this to make the shape of the shield. Then I would go to the wrist, draw out from that wrist and draw the, the bar thing that they put their hand through. And no, this is not Wonder Woman. <laughs> okay, so now also you saw that I that I'm drawing, I'm still drawing like out through um, the hand. And you can still add the fingers by drawing through out the arm. And look how I'm like just working on it. Like it's like magic when you like get used to it. It's so much, much more better doing it this way than how an old amateur book would tell you how to do it. I probably might have my own book, but I'm not really good at teaching. I'm being honest. But from what you guys have said, um, let's just hope that I can do this really good. I'm going to like erase that and make it like that. Erase um, the flower. Now it looks like that the shield is in front. I mean, the sword is in front of, um, no, not in front, behind the flowers. Because we're behind. Now it looks like everything's connected for some reason. So if you wanted to continue making the head, like I said, do not work up here and then try going down here. It looks like a mess especially if you're a beginner. So just connect. Sometimes you can refine the lines when sketching and that's the best thing. You can also do it with inking but um, with real ink. But I would actually wait until you get better at doing it like this and refining. Because you can't erase mistakes when you have ink. So I did like that. I started from the piece that was here. See if I can um, erase it. Because here's how we started, right? So I go up like that. And look, I drew the back of her head without a problem. Because her, her head is an oval. So I'm going up like that. And probably going to give her a mohawk. And I'm drawing from the hip shapes, but I'm staying with how this would look. Now it may look like a bunch of a mess, but this is a tutorial. I'm not trying to do anything finished here. And then you always want when no when also drawing the um, stuff on the character, you always want to stay with the shape. The boots have to go in the same way as the original shape is. So the boots 
have to be in the same form as the way as um, the feet are. They have to be in the same form and the same shape in the way they are looking. You have to always have that focus and it makes it a lot more easier when drawing things. You also want to stay informed with shape and form. Which goes a little something like this. Like if I draw a ball, I'm probably going to draw it as a head. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, you're going to like want to follow the lines of that shape. You always want to follow the rules of that shape. Draw a circle for the nose if you can. See, I draw real quickly, so you have to really stay. You really have to be really paying attention at times. And look how I'm like following the shape. Look how I'm staying with inside the shape, but I'm also making shapes with inside of the shape. Because I'm making everything stay connected. And I'm doing the line, that hairline, which is like this. Then I'll draw out of that hairline. Then I'll draw from that head. Like, watch how my um, cursor is like going and drawing and staying with, and making everything stay connected. Also, if you if a person is bending, he's going this way, like that. So his arms would be weighing up like this. Especially if they're dodging an attack. They're like, heh, <laughs> almost got me there. Okay, so, once again, <laughs> boobies. Um, and I'm still like staying connected with everything. See? Still staying connected with everything. Everything's still connecting because I'm still like, I'm drawing out from like that shape. And as you go, also, little note, when drawing the limbs and arms, they go, they get smaller until they get to the next joint and then they get big again. For example, this arm, this, uh, this leg. Look how it strengths, it's shrinking down like this, it's going down and it's shrinking, it's not getting bigger. Until it hits the joint, but then it gets bigger again. And then it goes smaller, and then it hits the feet to the next joint, and then the feet get bigger because it has no joint. Same thing with four fingers. They get smaller if you draw like this. And if you want to draw fingers, you would have to do it like this. I'm just saying the way I would do it. But you're, it's always important to stay with the shape and also have connect from these shapes to make things much more easier. Draw the shoulder. Now that's a guy, so Jake from State Farm. So what are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh khakis. <laughs> That joke wouldn't stop playing in my school when I used to go to school. They used to say that all the time. So what are you wearing, Jake? Because we had a guy named Jake. But anyways, um... See how I'm still, like, being connected? Like, if you're watching my cursor like I told you, you'll know what exactly is going on if you pay directly attention to everything I'm doing with my cursor. Um... Oh, the thumb should not be here. It should actually be right here, not over here. So I'm going to delete that. And there. Like, you have to always, like, stay con have everything connecting. Because if you, like, draw the arm out here, it's going to, 
it's just gonna make things a bit more harder, especially if you haven't drawn for a while. Like if you took in a break from drawing and you started playing some video games, next thing you know you're having trouble trying to draw things. So your best bet is to keep things drawing and having everything still connecting. If you just look at how my cursor is uh, doing this, you can tell that everything is very connected, even in big collages like this one. Like if you look how I'm doing the details, you can see that I'm connecting everything. Because I'm following shape and form and I'm also staying with the connecting technique. I call it the connecting technique and I think it's really important when it comes to drawing out characters but you can tell that these are out of these like estimation points they're still connected because they're falling in the way of how this is because they're going like out and I draw them like out like that really important So I just got all these done. I'm going to look at how much time we have. And it's like 26 minutes. 26 minutes I have been doing this. Um, I'm going to make sure that, that no one's watching. Because if people are watching, that's very sad. <laughs> because I don't want to actually... Uh, I'm just trying to do the tutorial. But it wouldn't hurt to just check. Because um, YouTube notifies people, I guess, on uh, me going live, but they really don't do a good job at it because they have to report. If you have like uh, so many subscriptions, like I do, they're not gonna tell you that all you do, all of the s subscriptions you have that oh this guy's live or the, all the people that you subscribe to if they all went live at the same time they wouldn't be able to put all of them on live at the same time. I don't know why. But I think that's dishonesty when it comes to notifications. Okay, let's check the um, live stream. See if anyone's there. If not, we can just cancel now. Because I just literally said, I think it says so much. And I think we're done. Okay, so the thing has not popped up. I mean, this is just a little slicking. Yeah, no one's here. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, I think that I have taught you guys as much as I could on um, drawing poses. And it really doesn't mean much. I mean, you really want to stay with, like, looking at references. Like, if you're not drawing from reference, you really want to start from drawing reference, especially if you're new. But also, it wouldn't hurt to draw from reference, because I've actually been doing it for quite some time and then I actually stuck because I started making my own little poses and I st still do this connecting technique because it actually helps out a lot and you also have seen me do it with um what is it um you have seen me drawing with it like with my free handed and you can that's and I'm just sharing that that's a little secret but it's also going to take some time for you to learn because it's not probably going to come easy to you so easily but it's very important to know um okay so like just stay with that connecting technique if this wasn't really helpful um let me know in the comments but i think that this should be really helpful and to those who probably will watch it in if you have a friend who probably watches this tell them to like skip to like uh, four minutes or maybe not I'm not really sure. I think that this video did well. <laughs> a bit of a, a bit crazy for poses, but um, I just wanted to share that technique 
because I think that technique is so much more important when it comes to drawing, like having everything staying connected. Because when you do it like that, it's the most best way of doing things. Hopefully I don't regret doing this tutorial. Um, but yeah, it's a connecting technique and it's very helpful. So if you really wanted to draw like, a, like an arm over here at the very edge, you would start from the edge and you would just, just draw it out um, using the technique. Also using shape and form to stay in focus with everything that you are doing. Just look look how like uh it just it just connects just connects like that like wow if you really want to know details on how to like draw characters that's why i said it's really important to look at reference so you know how like arms work and how they move and try not to be so over exaggerated or too over exaggerated to the point where things don't make any sense it's really important to know that ref to know reference so that way you'll have things looking more human like and also still following the form of those but drawing on top of those forms just draw on top of those forms and as you wanted to like, add weapons you would draw from the hand draw the line of that weapon this is a very bad sword and just do it like that okay all right I think I have said a lot on what you can do on um, when it comes to drawing poses just keep the connecting technique that I call it because no one knows what to call that technique so I call it connecting um, you might want to keep that in your head at all times when you want to think about drawing and so that way just keep everything connected like see how I'm doing this even keep the gesture thing as well when doing so Keep everything connected. But yeah, I think we're done here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really need to know just to improve in the next tutorial because if you guys don't tell me, I may mess up. So it's really important to let me know what is wrong or what I could add to the next tutorial. Alright? should be easy um this has been 33 minutes it has been a half an hour i'm not sure if anyone's gonna watch this video anymore but um yeah so with that said my name is martin animation and i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye